Thanks for staying with us. All right, life is moving faster than it ever has before. Those yes. are lyrics <laughs> from a 70s song. We're going to find out what song in a minute. But they are exponentially more true today with so many changes around us. Sometimes it may be good to reconnect with the old ways. The old ways. I like old with mm -hmm. an apostrophe. Mm. Well, <laughs> that kind of communication. Well, licensed pastoral counselor Dr. James Stowell is here to challenge us to simplify our lives yeah. using vintage tactile communication. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Stowell. Good to be here. You have made your entrance well known <laughs> today. Before we get into the questions, what mm -hmm. song? Actually, it's a gospel song. Okay. Praise the Lord, He never changes. Boom. Let them know. There you go. There you go. Can you sing it for us? I can. If you get us the lyrics next time you're here, Ooh. I feel like you and David could do a little acapella. Let's do it. We got that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about this. What is vintage communication? Well, it's old school stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a retro, whatever. Um, it's not computer. It's not a virtual communication. It's uh, tactile. Mm. Something you can feel and touch and it slows you down and it brings you into the present moment, it grounds you, and it's something that you're gonna value and come back to and um, treasure. I like that. I mean, would this be as simple as uh, writing a letter and like receiving yes. a letter? Um, sometimes like you pick up smells from oh my like, gosh. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I lost my father a couple years ago and uh, his chair, like mm. my mom still yes. has in the chair and like, I smell, like, I still right. will kind of go up to that chair, and it, it just takes me there. Right. Right. Oh, that's so true. So it's, uh, I, I kind of dig this, actually, yeah. because yeah. everything's just like, let me text you, like, what pictures do I actually it's have? It's so easy, and this yeah. is you're putting yeah. a little bit more effort in right. it, it seems. Yeah. Texting um, keeps you on that um, artificial level, yeah. and, and what you're talking about brings you, takes you back, mm -hmm. takes you back to those old days and those memories, and it's a heart thing, it's yeah. not just a head thing. It seems like you have to be a little bit more sincere because, you know, as much as everyone likes those emojis, right. they don't really, uh, <laughs> they don't really <laughs> kind of say it all. It's so true. Yeah. And how much more meaningful it would be if you draw your own. Oh. You know? Okay. Oh. Okay. Look at Mr. Romance here. Uh, yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, why is it so important that we do this? Well, it does personalize things, and um, it shows that you put forth effort. It shows that the other person is important to you. And so therefore, when they receive this communication, they're going to treasure it. Yeah. Um, I love watching uh, uh, some of the uh, internet stuff about uh, history. And so to see a letter that a president has written mm -hmm. and then right. they've scratched through it, and I mean, it's worth something, you know? Right. No, I think that's it's really treasure. cool just in the sense like, it is something that you can, you, you can actually hold on to it. Mm. Um, you can take it with you. Now, do you feel like people, just aren't doing this at all anymore? Oh, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're so impatient with each other, we're so impatient with ourselves, right. uh, that we're hurt, we have this hurry sickness all the time, and so that bleeds yeah. over into our communication. And so to intentionally do something that's slower. Do you also think because good. we're so used to getting texts and we're so used to it being kind of shallow mm -hmm. that we're a little timid to make that move and oh, actually sure. do that, thinking yeah. it would be too much? I'm putting yeah. myself out right. there. I'm going to be more vulnerable. But hey, that's what connection's all about. Yeah. You know, I just, I'm, as I'm thinking about this, I recently got a, a thank you letter from a good friend. Uh, she, the wife, you know, and I were reading it. And I was like, when's the last time we got a real thank you letter? Oh, um, actually, yeah, yeah. You know that I mean? a Absolutely. handwritten letter. Do you, do you yeah. ever write those? Uh, you know what? I, I try to. There's yeah. been times it slipped, but it's one of those things that has always it been ingrained makes in a me. Huge Absolutely. Difference. And I when somebody writes me one, the same way, it's, yes. it's just that extra. Mm. It, right. I, I felt that, and I was just like, I'm I'm really not good at this. This is like a downfall for me. So it's one of those things where it's kind of like. That's one area I'd really like to improve because it meant a lot to me sure. to actually get that. So. Mm. Is that a good starting point if oh, we want to jump in that? Just kind of yeah. do thank you cards. Pen and paper, typewriter. Oh, you know, yeah. are those still around? Still around? <laughs> oh yeah, and you can get them from the East Coast and the West Coast. There's specialty shops, and uh, it's an imprint. It'll right. be there forever, and you can feel it. That's cool. And it just represents the imprint that they have on your life. And the Ooh. same Ooh, thing with the color. Yeah. yeah. yeah that just Get me, Doc. Cool? You always do. You always get me. <laughs> well, I mean, let's let's take a look at the very popular movie, The Notebook, where yeah, he oh wrote yeah. her a letter every single go. day, and then it was like 
done deal. Yeah, and, and this summer, you're going out and you're going to have a vacation. Well, instead of just posting it on the internet for all the world who doesn't even care about you to see, why not make a scrapbook yes. and have a party after it's over, invite people back to look at the scrapbook. Smart. You know, That's cool. Um, my wife recently had her 60th birthday, and my daughter had asked relatives and friends from the past 30 or 40 years to send pictures and yeah. letters, and That's oh, nice. it's a treasure. It really, really is. And it's, it's, th th it's funny you say that because a lot of times if you go to birthday parties like that and people bring those, or weddings, a lot of times they'll have the um, slideshow playing yeah. at the reception of pictures. Yeah. That's so nice. And that catches the attention yeah. of people more than, you know, the guy dancing with his tie on his head. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> eyes are on the story. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Such know, a I, good move. I do love that guy dancing with the tie on his head. Dr. Stillwell. I'm just saying after those moves <laughs> we saw him earlier. <laughs> that, that is true. We'll have to all go to a wedding have fun together. With it. <laughs> well, Dr. Sowell, if anybody needs advice on how to make that move or what to do or needs mm -hmm. ideas, how do we get a hold of you? Slow down. Yeah, um, I'm at the Interfaith Counseling Center in Lexington, Frankfurt Pastoral Counseling, and also St. Matthew's in Louisville. So I've got three locations, but drjamesstillwell.com has all that information. Perfect. You are you're all over the place. Yeah, thank well, you. Well, we appreciate that you spend some time in here. Thank you it's for being pleasure. here.